close your eyes. What do you hear? We are deep in the jungle of Kalimantan, Indonesia, where the Nature Conservancy scientists are working to protect the rainforest by listening to it. We're so far from anything mechanized, anything human, that all you hear around you are, are completely natural sounds. You don't think of nature as being noisy, but uh, if you come into these forests, it's deafening. You know, there's cicadas going everywhere, there's primates, gibbons calling, langos calling, birds that have kind of freaky sounds. Kalimantan is the Indonesian part of the island of Borneo, the third largest island in the world, and home to one of the world's most important rainforests. You have a global role for, for forests. They're kind of the lungs of the, the world. A lot of the oxygen that we breathe comes from these forests. This place is actually one of the most biodiverse in the world. We can find more species than anywhere else on Earth. People all over the world depend on Kalimantan's rainforest for its natural resources. Yet large-scale logging and oil palm harvesting threaten the delicate balance of the ecosystem. You can find a palm oil being used in a soaps, detergents, chocolates, a lot of cosmetics. And more and more forests in tropical countries like Indonesia are being converted into palm oil plantations. It's important for us to know how many species are here, and it's important for us to know what we're going to lose if we cut trees out of the forest. So how can we continue to harvest an essential resource like palm oil? without endangering the habitats of nature's most extraordinary creatures. Thanks to innovative acoustic recording technology, the Nature Conservancy found a way. Yeah, so this is one kilometer. In Kalimantan's Wahea protected forest, Herlina, Eddie, and their team use microphones to measure the health of the forest by listening to the sounds of the wildlife within it. Maybe let's go to that tree there. Just there, turn on. That's tight, perfect. So the microphone we just strapped up on the tree here is to record sounds of the forest. And, and we use those sounds of the forest as a measure of biodiversity, how many species there are here. Some of these species live here and nowhere else. All the things that make noise, insects, birds, mammals, they've all evolved to communicate at slightly different frequencies. And we can record the sound and see that. There's a colored light on every frequency. And so in a, in a beautiful intact forest like you have around us here in, in Wahea, you would see green lights all the way up. So you can see th this is nighttime, just insects at nighttime. Mm -hmm. that, uh, great. This is where the day activity really starts mm -hmm. and then nighttime again. And so we know very concretely which environments have the most species. When you start to chop some of the forest down or start to clear it, you start seeing some of those species disappear and some of those sounds, some of those frequencies also disappear. That's what we look for when we record the sound. So the, the data that we're collecting here is to try and work out the best way to manage this forest landscape and to conserve the species and do things like grow food and grow palm oil. The scientists work with local forest guardians who protect and monitor the rainforest and guide the scientists in the installation of the acoustic recorders in remote areas. Banyak berubah. Waktu lu sejak kecil, uh, aku lihat, wos, kalau di atas gunung itu hutan semua. Nggak ada tuh uh, rata semua gitu, kayak sawit-sawit gitu. Ya emang, saya senang mendengarkan suara hutan alami gitu kan. Uh, nggak ada dengan suara gerusuh atau mobil, mesin, apa segala macam. Orangutans are one of the rainforest species the acoustic study supports. But they're not just inhabitants of the rainforest. They're its architects. 
salah satu peran orang hutan kok bisa dibilang bahwa dia salah satu spesies yang menyebarkan biji paling bagus dua kali sehari itu membuka kanopi untuk bikin sarang jadi kanopi hutan akan terbuka jadi biji-biji yang tadi nggak cuma perlu tanah nggak cuma perlu kelembapan atau air tapi juga perlu sinar matahari untuk bisa tumbuh and what it means is that the orangutans help and the forest grow the survival rate of the seeds that the orangutans disperse is actually very high is even higher than the survival rate of many restorations or replanting activities Kalimantan is so special because it is a home to at least 75% of the global orangutan population. Saat ini kami mempunyai populasi sekitar 203 orangutan dan semuanya dalam masa rehabilitasi dan reintroduksi. Saat ini ancaman kepunahan orangutan adalah hampir 90% itu adalah kehilangan habitatnya. It's not too late to help the orangutans rainforest. Data from the acoustic study supports the development of more sustainable practices, like reduced impact logging. Pulling one tree at a time helps to limit the impact of logging on forests. Nanti di sana ditulkan hasil pengukuran diameter pohon yang akan tebang. Kemudian setelah penebangan selesai, apa dilakukan rebosasi pak? Karena anak cucu kita supaya dapat apa melihat pohon-pohon masih ada itu kan. The Nature Conservancy is working with several palm plantations to make sure that they can actually improve their practices. They identify area of high biodiversity they can put aside, so they will not convert that forest into the palm plantations. The sound data that we're collecting is really important in helping us work out what landscape in Borneo is going to let us keep the most species here and still provide things like timber for your, for your cabinets and, and palm oil for your soap. A healthy biodiverse ecosystem is a symphony and the sounds recorded here in Kalimantan have the potential to resonate around the world. I think we're at the beginning of a, a huge wave of, of interest and use of acoustic technology used for projects all over the world. What is more exciting for us is actually to see how these numbers and figures and graphs will ultimately make a difference to the forest, to the wildlife, and to the people who depend on the forest.